Hi friends, today we are going to create a color wheel from a limited palette of three primary colors. The perfect time to do this is when you get a new palette, which I have right here. And I'll show you how to make the secondary and tertiary colors. So let's get into it. First, mist your watercolor palette to activate those pans and start to get them ready for painting. And then you'll take one of your sheets of watercolor paper and trace any circular object this is just a flower pot turned paint pot and get a circle onto that paper and then take your ruler or straight edge and we're going to create 12 wedges so you'll divide the circle into four sections and then each of those sections should have three smaller wedges within it now that the wheel is ready we'll start with our primary colors these are the colors that can't be mixed from anything else so we'll start with red, count three wedges over, and then on the fourth wedge, put yellow. Count another three segments over, and in the fourth one, put blue. And then we'll put the secondary colors. Red and yellow will make orange. You could also put the, an S on this label if you want to remember that it's a secondary color. The next one will be yellow and blue making green. And then lastly, you'll have blue and red, which will make violet. After that, we'll get into the tertiary colors. When you combine red and orange, you'll get a red orange. You'll always list the primary color first, which means yellow orange will be our next color. When you combine yellow and green, you'll get yellow green. I'm just abbreviating these here with initials at this point. And then between blue and green, you'll get blue-green, with blue being that primary color. Between blue and violet, you'll get blue-violet. And then lastly, between red and violet, you'll get red-violet. Now we'll get into the actual colors, which is the fun part. And this will really show you how versatile a limited palette can be. We are going to be creating a whole spectrum of colors just from a few paints. We'll only be using three colors from this palette. We'll start with the primary colors. We'll start with red specifically and choose one that looks like the most classic red, think lipstick red, and then you're going to paint that into the wedge of your circle. Don't worry about creating a wash or a gradient here or brush strokes or anything like that. This is strictly about laying down color so that you've got a reference guide for your personal palette. Then you'll clean off your brush, use one of the two glasses of water to rinse most of the color out of your brush, wipe it off on a paper towel to make sure you got all the color out. And once you've done that, you'll dip it into your clean water and then go back into your paint. The next one that we'll be using is yellow. By the way, a little tip, when you go into these cakes of paint, if you go around the edges as well as in the middle, they'll wear a lot more evenly and they'll last you so much longer. Now we're going to do the blue. So first rinse out your brushes and then you'll start painting the blue into its own wedge. And then you'll have all the primary colors done. So now we're going to get into the actual mixing and we're going to start off with mixing the red and the yellow. That's going to make a really beautiful orange. So clean off your brush and then you'll dip your brush into the red and place some of that in one of the mixing wells or if you've got a separate palette, you could use that as well. Clean your brush off because we don't want that red muddying up our yellow in the pan and dip some of that yellow onto your brush and then swirl it around with the red until it's completely mixed. You can use that second piece of paper as a swatch card to make sure that you've got the color the way that you want it before you put it onto your actual color wheel. This whole exercise will give you a good grasp of basic color theory, which is especially helpful if you're working with a more limited palette, but still want to have a wide range of colors. Next, you'll add a little bit more yellow to that mix, and that will give us the yellow orange. If you want your color to look a little more saturated, just dab off some of the moisture from your brush and then go back into the pigment to pick it up and then go back into your wedge to lay down a little bit more color and intensify it a bit. Then rinse your brush and go back into the red and add that to the mix, and that will create 
You guessed it, the red orange. You are doing so well. We have a third of the color wheel done already. Isn't this gorgeous? Look how many colors you've made already. Next up, you'll be creating green. So you'll mix yellow and blue together. You'll grab roughly equal amounts of both. They're both equally pigmented and you'll mix those two together. Make sure that they're mixed pretty evenly. And then you're going to take that and place them between the yellow and the blue on your color wheel. As a general rule, the more water you add to your mix, the lighter the color will be, and the less water that you have, the darker the mix will be. Now you'll rinse your brush off again, and we're going to add a little bit more yellow to that green mixture, and that'll give us a yellow green. And you'll place that between the yellow and the green on your color wheel. You're starting to get a really nice picture of color theory coming to life before your very eyes. Next, you'll add some blue to that same mixture, and this will make more of a blue green. This is one of my favorite colors. It's just so, it's just like the perfect combo of the blue and the green. We've still got a few more colors to go, but I want to hear at the end of this, which is your favorite color to mix up and to work with. Let's start getting into the purples and the violets. So you're going to take some red and lay that down and then pick up about an equal amount of blue after you clean off your brush and mix those two babies together. That'll give you a really nice violet. You'll paint that onto your wedge and then we'll get into red violet, which is another personal favorite. So you will take some of the red and then add it to that purple mixture that you have above You'll lay that down and smooth it out. And again, don't worry too much about filling in these wedges perfectly. This is just to give you an idea of what colors you can make with your palette. Pick up some more of your blue and add it to that mix. We'll be creating the blue violet next. You can always use your swatch card if you're wanting to make sure how the color is looking before you actually lay it down. You can see over on the right that I have definitely been doing that. And look at that, we have created a full color wheel from just three primary colors. This wheel is a great reference for understanding how colors relate to each other. If you try this exercise, let me know in the comments how your color wheel turned out. My name is Sarah, and I hope to see you on my channel again soon for another tutorial.